Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is going to be for my Scorps. No, sorry, I just did that. It's going to be for my Pisces. My Pisces, my Pisces. This is going to be the first two weeks of January. But I'm going to pull your overall energy from this deck. So this is Pisces, <clears throat> January 2020. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? So Pisces, overall energy for January 2020. Pisces. Get very calming energy. I did not place that in any other read, so I don't know what that's regarding. Okay, so we have the six of Ariel. Ariel. Um, <clears throat> no need to worry, too. Okay, so if you're worrying, no need to worry. I, see, I'm not really feeling this because I just felt very calming energy. This is very direct, though. Um, there is some type of challenge, but I'm not... I'm trying to figure out where this calm is coming from. I feel like that's a stingray, but it's not. Um... So this talks about your material needs being fulfilled, unexpected ways, magical ways, acts of kindness, giving, receiving, being grateful, having a grateful heart. Um, some of you must be worried about some type of outcome. Someone might be feeling regret, guilt. This popped out, but at the bottom of the deck is the page of wands. I mean, the page of, wow, it's funny I said that. It's, it's the page of fire. I mean... Oh my goodness, I don't, my, <laughs> I don't know if you're dealing with fire or what, but um, it's the page of air, which is swords. So it's exciting, but it is a challenge. Okay, so, but your overall energy, you know, is the six of pence. Some type of magic. I don't know what you guys are dealing with. Interesting, to say the least. It is honest communication. It's whatever you guys are, are talking about, whatever you're analyzing. Pisces, first two weeks. So this this deck right here is the first two weeks, okay? So of January 2020. Um, the overall energy for the entire month speaks of balance. But to me, it's, it's more than that. Something's being met. In that song, I don't know it, but it's like, you got boy problems, that's the human in me. Um, bling, bling. Whatever that's what got Um I should have been non-committal. So some of you, this is about uh, a relationship. So something unexpected, unexpected is gonna happen because this is no. Don't worry. Okay, no, that's four. So you're soul searching right now. You're reevaluating a situation. What else? My Pisces first two weeks, please. Because I'm channeling more, that's a frame, I'm, I'm channeling more calming energy than anything, so this does talk about a little stress. So you have the seven of pence. You're no longer waiting around if you were. I don't think you swept anything under the rug either. I 
I think at one point you were waiting to see if some type of offer or something was going to come back around and message something and you're no longer. You're definitely moving forward. First weeks, Pisces. Look at you guys moving forward. This is the Ace of Pence. I mean, um, the Ace of Wands. Wow. Energy's all over the place for you guys. You keep going in this direction or you keep moving forward. There's something inspiring you. You have an awakening at the bottom of the deck. Look at how every single card is is going forward. So there's something exciting that you're definitely going after. Yep, once again, okay. There's some type of choice. Trust. It's a six of cups. Could be regarding your past. Like I said, there's something that some of you uh, are waiting for. You could have been dealing with somebody who was non-committal, okay. Um, but you're not. You're most definitely not waiting and I can hear my computer like kind of like overheating which is weird it only happens with certain zodiacs or certain conversations I already know this is going to be a while fun upload for yours I can just I don't know if you've been waiting a while and finally you're like that song just came to me I saw the sign it opens up my eyes I saw the sign Life is outstanding without something, something, something like that. I saw the sign. It opens up. Is that Sinead O'Connell? I don't even know. I don't even know. But look at you. Holy moly. You're just like, I'm out. If you are waiting, you're not waiting if that makes sense. You're like, if it, if it's meant to be, it will be, baby, just let it be. That That's the vibe I'm getting from you. You're just... See ya. Tell me about the four shells. So this is, the four shells does talk about, you know, some type of offer coming back around. Something you passed up or they passed up, however this is regarding. At one time you definitely invested. You're definitely seeing the good in something. You're staying focused. You're moving forward. You have the Ace of Cells and the Page of Wands that came out. It's funny because I, this Page of Air, I kept saying Page of Wands. And they're looking right at each other. So this is about happiness, abundance, discovery. It's that type of, hi sweetie, that type of energy. Morning. Huh? Oh, there's my tissues. That's nice because I literally have had allergies for like a month. So I keep taking it from that for a while. No, I'm just doing videos. I did. So the Ace of Shells and the Page of Wands. So there must have been some type of offer of love and a new start. Whatever that is, is, is coming back around. Do you have a good night? Um, I love you. So there must have been some type of offer of, of love or a new start that wasn't taken in the past that's coming back around. I don't know if you're dealing with a uh, scorp or not because something was coming back around for them like that too. Tell me about the seven of pence. The crane is very calming energy too. It's almost like 
like I said, like if something comes, it comes. It's almost like you're moving forward regardless. Whatever this is regarding. It's, it's weird, the song that just came to me now, too. I can see clearly now, the rain is gone. So, it's, it's definitely confidence moving forward. You definitely have, um, you're the first one that had a lot of music come through. I mean, music does soothe the soul. There's an awakening. And look at you guys just do do do. It is it does talk about some type of renewal. So you definitely invested in something. Whatever that investment was, it's not right now. But it's it's in the next few weeks. Couple weeks, but I said few. There's something here. I mean, you're just going. What about the Ace of Wands? Nine of Acorn. Which is the Nine of Wands. Someone is awfully persistent. I don't think this is you. I think that's an Aries type energy. It's funny because we had the Emperor here with Scorpio. This, um, I, it's not, I think the Emperor's a Jaguar. I'm not positive. What's this, a Panther? Was that a Jaguar? I don't know. But it, whomever this person is seems fierce. It's almost like, whoa, where are you going? It's like a whole new you. Because it's almost like the bottom of the deck with the Empress. It's almost like you're looking back, but you're like, you're not looking back. Tell me about this choice love right here. The Empress really wanted to come out. I mean, you definitely walked away from someone. Tell me about those six of cups. Three of pence. So there's some type of contract. I don't know what this is regarding. Um, it's, <laughs> you guys might want to watch Squat. Because that was their main energy. The emperor was sitting here. And this is exactly where this was sitting too. But I don't want to relate you to squat. You've been waiting. But it's coming. Tell me about this three of crystals please. You're dealing with this person, whether they're fire or not. It's either that or you're not fighting yourself anymore. It's like, I'm out, whatever this is regarding. The shadow side. Yeah, see? This is how powerful you are right now. It's, it's that self-empowerment. It's the ambition. When I tell you, you guys, you're moving, surely, are you moving? Some of you can actually be moving, but man, you're just, you're so focused on the future. The present moment, the future. There's nothing stopping you guys right now, but it's calming energy. I don't know if you're going to take that new stop, or if that was offered, or it's going to be offered. Well, that's what you let go of, you didn't want it. 
that's the case, it wasn't true. True enough. But to me, this is almost like someone you're dealing with had an awakening. And eventually they're coming back. Tell me about this page of wands real quick. All I feel is stamina with you guys. You got the Queen of Cups, peace, compassion. So it's like the feminine is energy is all about excitement. The thrill of whatever's here. You guys have a very mysterious read. Six of Pents. Man of Shells. Yeah, this is gratitude, fulfillment, wishes, something with your dreams. And this is fulfilled, magical, unexpected ways. Receiving, having a grateful heart. These are two cards of gratefulness. This is like a wish. It's, it's something you're going to be happy about moving forward. There's no question. And penguins represent when they love someone. I read it somewhere once. They, they give their mate. They mate for life, but they give their mate a pebble. <laughs> I figured I'd let you guys know. I don't know. Very creative energy I'm feeling. But very mysterious. You know, to me, it's, it's, there's definitely something coming in that's going to fulfill you, make you happy. You're going to love whatever it is is next. You're definitely persevering and pushing through. Love you guys. Bye.